good, Kendall. Good enough. <clears throat> All right, good. All right, we are live in Elk Point. Had a little bit of technical, technical difficulties to start the game. So far, we've got two outs. First person grounded out to the pitcher. Second one flew out to the pitcher. Popped out, I guess I should say, for two outs. This one reached on an error. First pitch by Reagan Rasmussen is a ball. Oh, nice pitch there. So I should say starting pitcher for today for the Huskies is number three, Reagan Rasmussen. Catching number six, Hannah Nierman. Pitch a little bit high. Count three no. Nice stop by Nierman. It's going to be a walk for. We couldn't get the starting lineup, so we are going to try and get them as they go during the game now. Batting now, number 21, Kate Preheim for the Sioux Falls Christian Chargers. First pitch to strike by Rasmussen there. Let us know Let if us you got our number. Can hear us <laughs> yeah. at all. I know we got the wind howling in there too, I'm sure, so hopefully you can hear us. Pitch by Rasmussen, the ball outside there, two and one. Okay, I think we're ready to rock with some actual updates on the scoreboard stuff. All right. Perfect. And I'm standing right in her way. <laughs> <laughs> Three and one. So runners at first and second, two outs, three and one count. That was a nice pitch. It's a little high. Just gonna drew the walk, so it's going to blow the bases for number 11, Avery Reitz, I believe. Is how you pronounce that? So two down, bases loaded. First pitch, swung on, hit out to left field. It's going to drop for a hit. Going to get it in. Two runs. Oh. Two runs are going to score. So two down, runners first and second. Gonna bring up number nine, Taylor Dittman. Trying to hold on to papers here, and she's mighty windy. I yeah, think. but it's a lot warmer than it was yep. yesterday. Yep, absolutely. That's a <laughs> nice play there by Molly Gary. Takes the grounder at third and just steps on third base to end the inning. So that'll be the third out. All right. So after one, half inning of play, it's 2 0 Sioux Falls Christian. And I don't know how you did it yesterday, Caroline. You take a break after each half inning or not? Um, as long as there, so there was quite a bit of time in between each, but yeah. um, uh, I ran it so that I could get comfortable filming first before okay. I ran any commercials. So I apologize, we missed the national anthem. That was sung yep. by uh, Samantha Marks. Yeah, nice and, job uh, by her again. Um, we had the, um, uh, was it the Legion yep. or VFW that was out here presenting the, the Legion, colors? The yep. Legion was yep. presenting the colors. Um, yep. Definitely. Yeah. So we will take a quick commercial break here and be back after these messages. You're watching EPJ Varsity Softball on brought to you by Fuller Digital Solutions.
quality care close to home. That's Horizon Healthcare and Elk Point. For immunizations and well child visits to family health, we're right here for all ages with convenient hours and timely appointments. Local care for you and your family makes life easier with less travel, greater personal attention, and overall wellness for life. That's Horizon Healthcare's Elk Point Community Health Center. Kendall, we are back. All right, we are back. We got leading off for the Huskies in the bottom of the first is number six McKinley Hammett takes a ball up high 1-0 count yeah, I'm trying to write this in here on my score sheet so bear with me for a second that's gonna be ball two another ball ball two all right should probably have my phone on silent <laughs> And pop fly to left field. That wind might take it. Oh, oh wow. Oh, uh, nice catch there yep, by nice Sarah Schmitz. Sarah Schmitz. That was Sioux Falls Christian the cut. Oh, <laughs> well, it looks like her. Sorry. Oh. They're all got they all brown hair braids. Everybody's wearing blue. I forgot <laughs> we were true. bad. I That's forgot true. we were bad. <laughs> Everybody is wearing blue. <laughs> and Sarah Schmitz is in every sport there is, so That's I wouldn't true. be surprised if she was That's playing right. for Sioux Falls Christian at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I was gonna ask her today too, because she was. We saw her in volleyball, basketball, um, now softball, and I think isn't she in track too? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yep. Yep. She is. All right. So that was okay. So McKinley's batting in second. I'm, that was uh, Hannah Nerman that flew out to left field. My bad. Well, they don't have brown hair and braids. They have blonde hair and braids. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a 3-1 count so far to Hammett. Pitch is up a little high. It's going to be ball four. So Hammett will take a walk. Gonna bring up number 15, Sarah Schmidt, Caroline's favorite player. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a nice hit there. Oh, right and off the center field is low. Fumbled by <laughs> Sioux Falls Grove. Well, you can uh, fumble in all kinds of sports. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, now those pop flies are gonna be very difficult today. Wind's blowing out at about 40 to 50 probably. Sun's in their eyes. Too. Yep. I'm not sure what they're going to rule that. I'll give her a hit for it. So we got that's going to bring up number two, Paige Jacobs, the second baseman. Takes first pitch ball. Yeah, Huskies at one down. Runners at first and second with Jacobs up. Pitch is high for a ball. 2 0 to Jacobs. I don't know if I mentioned it. Pitcher, starting pitcher for Sioux Falls Christian is number 22, Bailey Johnson, is a freshman. That pitch is in there for a strike. 2-1 count to Jacobs. And we got a grounder to third. Nice scoop by the third baseman. Steps on third for the force out. So she will be. Jacobs will make reach first on a fielder's choice. Bring up number five, Molly Gary. And straight two on her. So runner. 
runners at first and second again with two down or one out. And that one's a little bit outside for ball one. It's gonna be one and two. Ground to the third, gets by her and the shortstop. And Sarah's gonna try and make it home, throw by the center fielders, not in time. So Sarah Schmitz will come around to score. Make the score two to one with two down. Runner still at first and second. And batter is Hard to see here. Let's wait till she turns around. Number 14, Samantha Marks. And a strike there. Even out the count at one and one. Ball's low. 2 1. Scoreboard is wrong, I believe it is. Two That's out yet. Yeah, it should be two. Yeah, she had because they caught that top uh -huh. line left field early. Yep. It wasn't Sarah Schmidt either, by the way. No, it was not Sarah Schmidt. That <laughs> she, can't, that ball. she can't play for both teams. <laughs> 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 so we got a three-one count to Marks. Ball's gonna be high. It's gonna be a walk for Marks. Yeah. It's gonna bring up number three. I think that's Reagan, isn't it? Yep. Number three, Reagan Rasmus in the pitcher. Yeah, she did a really good job last night pitching. Yeah. She had quite that's a good. On her. Yeah, definitely. It was a strike or a ball? It was a strike. Ooh, that one was just off the plate, maybe. One and one there to count to Reagan. So the bases are loaded. Ball, yep. Yeah. Two one. Three, three and one now. Count to Rasmussen. Base is loaded, two down. Ooh, looked like it was close. Ooh. Um called her ball four, so Rasmussen. That's a run, doesn't it? Yep. Ties it up at two. Rasmussen gets the walk. It's gonna bring to the plate number one, Natalie Haley, the left fielder. Or no, right fielder, excuse me. Don't ask me, I don't even know who they play for. <laughs> That's right, the blue team. <laughs> Never find their position. It's like back in coach's pitch, we play for the blue team. <laughs> First pitch was a straight to Haley, yep. So two to two, oh, two outs, the bottom of the first inning. That was a nice pitch there. Strike two to Haley. <clears throat> Haley gets ooh, gets the batter right over the third baseman's head and no tries to get it at third, not in time. So it's going to score another run there for Haley. Nice hit. We still at two outs there. Yep, oh, still wow. at two outs. Gets in. So. Score stands two to three with Huskies in the lead. Yep. All right. All right. At bat for the Huskies, number twenty-three, Ainsley Getzinger. It's going to be a ball. It's going to get away to the backstop, and Marks is in safe on the pass ball or the wild pitch. Brings it up to four to two. All the runners will advance. So runners at second and third, two outs for gets here. Low there. And 
straight, one and two together here. Uh, I'm trying to write this in my book without the wind blowing it away here. That's going to be strike, strike three, three yep. and that is that'll, three outs. Yep, that'll end the inning. Huskies get four in the bottom of the first inning, though. Makes us go four to two after one. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky Softball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Elk Point native Dr. Devin Penfield and the team at the dentist at Elk Point believe that your family deserves the highest level of dental care in a friendly and relaxing atmosphere. That's why they're happy to provide the community with a low-stress, comfortable dental home. Patients are loving and having the latest technology in a small-town setting. Dr. Penfield and her team enjoy serving such a wonderful community. Schedule your appointment today by calling 605-356-2271. Welcome back, Husky fans. We're back here at the top of the second inning as um, EPJ warms up there at the plate. Kendall, how are we going to do stats on this? <laughs> I'm trying. It'll be interesting. I decided uh, to leave the um, camera stationary because I tried to film that oh, yeah. out that fielding stuff, and I'm like, oh, there's too much stuff happening in the <laughs> oh, people with people running, and I'm like, I don't have uh, camera ability to split it. <laughs> I'm not that professional. <laughs> So lead off the top of the second is number three. Three. Or is that three? Eight. Nine? eight, eight. I think. Can't see through the chain link. I should yeah, be, be talking. I'm sitting <laughs> on the ground here. <laughs> number eight is Morgan Grimm. This will be a strike for Sioux Falls Christian. All right. Strike two. For ball one and two um, for Grim. Just a little low ball two, two and two. Ball high, it's gonna be three and two full count to Grim. Oh, I should probably change this sign on here. It still says we have no sound. Oh, we could change that. <laughs> Foul ball, so count stays at three and two. Pitch. It's going to be just a little low for ball four. So Grimm will draw the walk to lead off for top of the second. It's going to bring up number one, Bailey Vandergrind. Grounder to short. It's going to be just too late on the toss to second for the field, to get the fielder's choice, which is going to be safe. So first and second, nobody out. First pitch, the strike. Nice pitch there by Rasmussen. Let's see if I can see who this is batting. Did you get a roster from the other team, Kendall? I've, I've got a program, yep. Ah. Number four, Emerson Spader. Okay, we're back to the top of the order there. She's got 
two strikes on her. Nice pitch there. Popped up, just fouling down the third base line. It's going to be in the final wall. Just out of reach of Molly Gary. So, dumb question. Does a foul ball count as a strike or a ball or nothing? It counts as a strike, but as, okay. if there's two strikes already, then they, they, stay, they still okay. stay at two strikes. Unless, that makes sense for yesterday, then. Okay. Unless it's slow pitch softball, then I think you're out. <laughs> like, oh. Like, not at high school fast pitch softball, but like slow pitch. But I'm pretty sure anyway. I don't know. We don't need to worry about that. We're just again. making stuff up as we go. <laughs> so, back to a one and two count. Ooh, pitch just a little bit low, even off the count at two and two. So two and two to Spader with nobody out. Runners at the first and second. Almost like a little swinging bunt down the third baseline. He's going to roll foul. So it's still two and two. Two runners at first and second. Our Asmus is ready to deliver. And it's going to be a little high. It's going to bring the count to you. Full count at three and two. And it's going to be a little bit in low in the dirt. And it's going to be a ball four. That'll load the bases. With nobody out. So base is loaded, nobody out. It's going to bring up number 23, Camden Mulder. First pitch of the ball. Second pitch a little outside, ball two. So 2-0 two count to Mulder. Nice pitch in there, fouled off down the first baseline. One and two, or no, two and one, excuse me. Two one count to Mulder. Nice pitch there. Evens it out at two and two. Oh, she get barely got it off the handle of the bat. Oh no, that not quite in time. Well, the only place you could go was home and it was just barely too late, so it's gonna be a single to drive in the run. It's going to make it four to three. Yes, sir. And as soon as the wind, there we go. I was going to say, as soon as the wind blows this girl's ponytail all the way, I can see her <laughs> number. And it did. Number 10, Maya Nelson. I'm telling you, reading those numbers with that long hair is impossible. I know. I hear you. Oh, nice solid hit up the middle there by Nelson. It's going to drive in one for sure. And it's going to drive in two runs. It's going to make the score 5 4. See if it's Christian. First and second. Strike. This is number nineteen. Del Delia Duke Blanchard. 
Oh, nice rocket there by Schmidt from center field. Gets it in quick. And so we got bases loaded, nobody out in the second. We're gonna have a pitching change. We're gonna have Lauren McDermott yeah. takes the mound. Yeah, number 18. Lauren McDermott's gonna move from first to pitcher. And Ainsley Getzinger is gonna replace her at first. the eclipse on Monday? Maybe. Maybe? Yeah. If, we can, if we can see it, it might be cloudy. It's a chance God, it's of rain Monday. Yeah. I know. I hope we get to see I it. I know. Kids Definitely. are excited. Yeah, I bet. All about the eclipse and stuff. Yeah, but I bet. We had uh, somebody donate glasses to the whole elementary. Um, grades 2 through 5 will be going out on awesome. Monday to um, watch the eclipse. We'll awesome. keep Everybody in for recess, though, so that oh. uh, nobody goes blind looking yeah. at this once-in-a-lifetime <laughs> opportunity. So That's right. <laughs> Might have some mad kids are going to miss recess instead, though. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, that should be interesting. Mm -hmm. we got Penny Wars coming up next week, too. Okay, yeah. yeah saw so that in the folder and came home. Yeah. Elementary is raising money for, I believe we are raising it for our art closet. Make okay. sure the kids have supplies. Okay. Googly eyes, feathers, paint, oh, yeah. glue, you know, things yeah. like that. Some essentials. Um, so we got dress-up days each day of the week. Okay. Monday we're starting with uh, camouflage. Okay. So um, send your kiddo to school wearing camo on Monday. There you go. Um, <laughs> Do you think I can remember any of the other ones? Nope. Mm. <laughs> mm. I know one of the days is dressed as the color of money, so we got oh. uh, gray, green, gold. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm surprised we don't have any copper. Yeah. Was, copper was not on the list. Right. Um, I mean, I, the penny still exists in America. That's right. That's right. They stopped making the penny in Canada. You, you can't get a really? penny up there. Uh -uh. Wow. They stopped making that, I think, in like 2012 or something. Oh, wow. It takes, <laughs> what they say, it takes five cents to make one penny. Jeez. <laughs> That's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Crazy. Hmm. I didn't know that. I might not know about sports, but I got some random facts <laughs> shaking around the old noggin. <laughs> That's right. Definitely. You do have some random <laughs> stuff here you're pulling out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Probably could have taken a commercial break instead of yammering, yeah. huh? We didn't know yeah. how long they were going to be. That's right. Sometimes they're ready to go. And they just throw you know who could fill airtime. Oh, we all know that one. <laughs> That's right. Good old Jeff. <laughs> He can fill it with the best of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think he just likes to hear himself talk. It might be. It might be it. <laughs> Got number 21 at bat now. Who's that? 21 is Kate Priya. Oh, first, first pitch off go. the bench, and yep. she's got a strike. Yep, nice pitch there by, by Lauren. 0 and 1 count. Gets a grounder off the... Nice play there by Hammett to get the force out at home for the first out of the inning. So we got a 62 put out for the first out of the inning. So number 11 up to bat now is Avery Reitz, I believe. First pitch is a ball. Second one, foul back, straight back. Oh, that might get a car. Oh, I'm glad I didn't park That's over there. That's right. I parked the other side. <laughs> Evens out the count at one and one. Nice 
Nice pitch there, another foul ball. One and two to reach. Base is loaded still with one out. Pitch low, two and two. Count even at two. Five four the score. See Paul's Christian on top in the top of the second. Ball low, nice stop there by Nearman. Nice scoop. Makes the count. I believe the count is Full three count. and two. Yeah, I think someone says two and two on the board, but I'm pretty sure it's three and two. Uh, that's what I got. Yeah. Good job. Way to keep track. Oh, wow. She lays it out over the left fielder's head. It's going to bounce up that one bounce on the wall. Schmitz is going to throw it in. Gets it in. It's going to be a stand-up double for Avery Reach, I believe. So one out, double. So runners at second and third. Brings the score to seven to four with a one out in the second. Off the bat is number nine, Taylor Dittman. Grounder foul, almost got the girl in the on deck circle. Going after her teammate, I guess. Take him out at the knees. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's about what she did. So Owen won the count. Nice pitch there, swing strike, one and one. Or no, one, or oh, one two, two, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, and two. Change up. Yeah. Nice try on the change up. Didn't quite make it to the plate though. Nice stop by Nairman again, one and two. Just inside, two and two, evens the count. And a little outside, three and two, full count. Sneaky, sneaky. That's right. She thought about swinging. Yeah. <laughs> so full count, one down. Runners at second and third. Ball high, it's going to be ball four. It's going to bring up number eight, Morgan Grimm, with one down, bases loaded. I think I've given up on my score scorebook ability for today. <laughs> it's mighty windy. I know, and the wind, and then trying to. I look think up, I look up, look down. Yeah, yeah, it missed a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I get it. pop fly to center field. Schmitz comes in and misplays it. It's gonna drop. It's gonna get get one run. And, oh, just barely got the third. So just barely got there on the fourth. So it's gonna make the score eight to four in the second. This is our first game doing so well, well my first, Caroline second, so <laughs> maybe another day when it's not this windy I can get get this, the uh, lineups ahead of times and maybe I won't have it messed up then I'll be able to do it, but for today I think we're good. I think this is, it's all trial and error. That's right. I only learned how to use this scoreboard yesterday. I go. didn't even know that you could That's like right. click on little, little, little diamonds <laughs> let them know where the runners were. <laughs> That's right. We've got plenty of opportunities this week, though. Monday, yeah. Thursday, Friday, so. Yeah. We'll be up to par by the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully. So 2-0 to the count. Nice. Oh, that was a late, late strike call there by the ump. 2-1. Nice pitch there by McDermott. One down yet. Base is loaded with number one, Bailey Vandergrein to bat. Yep, there's strike two. Even the count at two and two. Nice pitch, fouled back. Stays at two and two.
Nice pitch. Nice pitch there by McDermott. Strike three is going to be out number two for the top of the second. One more, no more. That's right. So up to bat is... I believe... Emerson Spader at the top of the order again, I think. So first pitch of the strike. Second pitch is just fouled on the third baseline. Brings the count to 0-2, two, two outs. Two, two down, base is loaded. McDermott's pitch is low. Nice stop by Nerman. One and two. Foul ball straight back. Stays at one and two. Grounded on the third baseline. She's just going to come over and flip it to Hammond, who is covering third for the force out to end the inning. After one and a half innings of play, it's eight to four. Sioux Falls Christian will be back after these messages. You're watching Husky Softball on the Marginal Solutions. Are you ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. It's not, and we're back. <laughs> All right, we are back, going to the bottom of the second. See Falls Christian up eight to four. Go through some quick lineups as, I, as I'm watching here. So number eight in left field is for Sea Falls Christian is Morgan Graham. Center fielder, I believe, is number 10, Maya Nelson. Left, or right fielder is number four, Emerson Spader. Or no, not number four. Number four is Spader. It's short. Third base was 21, K Preheim. And we're... Oh, umpires are talking something over here. Uh, who else do we got here? Can't see any of the other numbers right now. So, up to bat for the Huskies to start the bottom of the second is going to be... Number six, I can't tell. Margaritas, yeah. Number six, Hannah Nerman. I think that's the top of the order, isn't it? For sure. It's going to be the first pitch ball. Start the second inning to Nerman. Second pitch is a little high, too, for ball two. Two. around the bar, pulls it back. Pitch is going to be a strike. Three and one. So three one count. And ball four high. Nerman's going to jog down to first for a walk to start the game. So up. Up to bat now, number four is McKinley Hammett. She scores her on the butt, pulls it back. It's going to be a ball, I believe. Yep, ball from ball one. Oh, 
Nice pitch to strike. Nearman goes, steal second, throw goes out into the outfield. So Nearman down to second and a stolen base. 1-1 one, one count to Hammond. Pitch is high, 2-1. because we normally have a little bit of a pre-game kind of thing, but yeah. Huskies are coached by Jesse Stouffer and Josh Nearman. There we go. Yep, good call. I was going to try and go through the next half inning. I was going to go uh -huh. through defensive alignments and everything, yep. too. He's playing one position, but... I know we usually have a little bit more time than we do, than we did yeah. today. Yeah, yep. We'll get it. We'll get the time. We'll get there. <laughs> That's right. It threw me for a loop yesterday when we, uh, <laughs> the JV did not play first. Yeah. And, uh, I had a hard time. I struggled with that. <laughs> <laughs> Foul ball down the third baseline. It's going to be full count. Okay. Yeah, it is different. Varsity plays first all the time in softball. Mm -hmm. So full count to Hammett. Fouls it back. Stay at a full count here. Swing and a miss, strike three. One down for the Huskies. It's gonna bring up the oh, third person in the batting order, Sarah Schmitz. Nerman out there at second base. Strike to Schmitz, 0-1. Foul tip rolls back. 0 2. So 0 2 count to Schmitz. Ooh, just a little high or something. Not sure there. It's a pretty good pitch. 1 and 2. Oh, that's hit quite a ways. Don't oh, hit what? my pickup. Wow. <laughs> that's impressive. That was a pretty deep hit. Foul down the left field line. So that's, oh, no, not a strike because she's at two, right? Yep, she's already at two strikes. So one and two still. Yep, that definitely would have been gone. Oh, gets hit Ouch. in the back by a changeup. So Schmitz will take her base, hit by pitch. And will bring it up. Number two, is that Paige? Yep, Paige Jacobs, number two. So runners at first and second, one now with Jacobs up to bat. First pitch is in the dirt, nice scoop by the catcher. Nerman. Nerman gets back to second. Catcher threw down a third there, thinking she might steal. Chased her back to second. Oh, foul, foul ball, one and one the count, one out. Stepped off the rubber there. And ball high. Runners going to advance to second and third. So they're out there at second and third for Jacobs. Counts two and one. Foul ball straight back. Out of play. Even to count at two and two. Just a 
little bit low. Jacobs is going to swing, lay it off of it. Bring the count to a full count with one now. Oh. Nice pitch there to strike Jacobs out for the second out. He's going to bring up number five, Molly Gary, to the plate. Two down, runners on second and third. First pitch low, 1 0. Hits it to short, grounder to short, over to first. In time to get the third out. Yeah. So Huskies don't score. Score is going to remain 8-4 to four after 2. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky basketball or Husky <laughs> softball <laughs> on Fuller Digital Solutions. Every day, life throws us challenges our way. It might be sitting at a desk too long or picking up the kids or simply everyday wear and tear. Over time, these moments can misalign our bodies. The doctors at Heartland Chiropractic Associates understand this delicate balance. Their team of experienced chiropractors doesn't just address symptoms, but seeks and finds the root cause. Call and book an appointment today and discover why Heartland Chiropractic Associates has been voted two times the best chiropractic clinic in Siouxland. Get in, we're back. All right. Well, I'm trying to go through the defensive position for the Huskies. And the left field we have number 14, Samantha Marks. Center field we have number 15, Sarah Schmidt. And right field we have number one, Natalie Haley. Third base we have number five, Molly Geary. Shortstop number four, McKinley Hammett. Second base number two, Paige Jacobs. First base, number 23, Ainsley Gensinger. And behind the plate, number six, Hannah Nierman. And pitching, it's number 18. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my gosh. We just had technical difficulties here. And we got no Oh boy. That was a Big Ugh, guest away. Big guest. All right, so um, <laughs> we are no longer connected. Wow. Back, folks. Sorry about that. <laughs> We are back, and Caroline's still alive. <laughs> she almost got taken out by her, her the laptop, but did hit her in the face. <laughs> Camera went flying over backwards. They had a nice gust of wind here, so I think everybody's gonna make it. We might have a might have a workman's comp claim to four digital solutions for some <laughs> some dental work for Caroline, but oh my gosh. <laughs> other than that, I think we're okay. Um, we had two outs already in the top of the third inning. We had a fly out to. Haley out in right field and a what was the last one? I'm trying to think now. Yeah, the second the second out was I can't even remember now. <laughs> Alright, anyway, there's two outs, nobody on base. Three and one the count. Three and one the count. Two number nineteen. Delia Duke Blanchard. Oof, that was a good pitch. Evidently that was a full count walk to her. So two out, two outs, runner on first. Going to bring up number 21, Kate Preheim. Going to have a foul ball. Only one the count. I got this. That's okay. You sure? But yeah. <laughs> Um, I just, I kind of see the scoreboard oh, as the only thing. There is two outs. Like, okay. Not sure they only got one up there. Gotcha. And the speaker just went over over by the <laughs> concession stand. Somebody about got taken out there. Holy cow. Oh, nice close play there. Base hit the center field. Schmidt almost gets her out at second. So it's going to be safe. So it's going to be two outs. Runners at first and second. Ball 
on the dirt. Want to know? Oh, it did. The speaker did oh, fall it on did. somebody. It hit Krista Johnson. Oh, it did, didn't it? Dang. We got our sweet athletic trainer over there. Yep, checking to, it out. Um, Pop fly. Nerman's under. Oh, and she's safe. Or it's, it fell in play. And she's going to have her out at third. Get her in the run down. Take her out at third base to end the inning. Man, the wind took that thing. Nirma made a nice play trying to get it. Didn't get it. Corralled it. Threw it to third to get the out. We're going to take a quick break. After two and a half, it's 8 4. Still, she falls Christian. You're watching Husky Softball and Florida Deal Solutions. Insurance in Beersford, Elk Point, and Sioux Falls has been building relationships since 1944. We want to take care of what matters most to you protecting your family, farm, business, or vehicles. We work with carriers or companies like Auto Owners Insurance to find you the best coverages and help cut your insurance costs. Visit our website for a complete list of insurance coverage options. You can trust that Jensen Insurance cares about you, just like we have for over 75 years. Visit us at JensenAgencyOnline.com. Jensen Insurance, your local, independent auto owner's insurance agency. All right, we are back. So far, I think everybody's okay after that half <laughs> inning. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, they saw that they took they took the other speaker down and put yeah, it on the ground. <laughs> probably a wise decision. <laughs> I know. Wow. Yeah. Yesterday, I was terrible. Like, yesterday, they had a lot of um, uh, foul balls hit. They went over my head, oh, um, over the equipment and stuff, and I was like, oh, I'm wow. gonna get hit by a ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, <Wow>. crazy. <laughs> oh, funny. I think we got time. We can take one more commercial break. All right, sounds good. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com have rain no it's gotta be wind too yeah, and we exactly. are back all right we're back umpire is discussing something with huskies head coach jesse stouffer and by the dugout here not sure if we had substitutions or what they're talking over here but score remains eight to four going to the bottom of the third Logan playing ball this? Yep. What's she doing? Yep. Is she pitching? Yep. Definitely. Yep. Leah too? Yep. She, what's she doing? Playing softball. She's going to do some pitching and okay. catching and wherever else. I saw Logan try to take her mom out the other day. Oh, yeah? Practice, yeah, line drive. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> yep. Crazy stuff. <laughs> Funny. No, I know. These kids grow up so fast. That's right. This is true. Oh, in latest development, uh -huh. Riley had an interview today at Reptile Gardens. Really? And he got the job. He started really? on Saturday, yeah. Nice. I know. He's super excited. I remember when he was in Mrs. Shanks' second grade class, yeah. that was the... That was his big thing. He's like, really? I want to work at Reptile Gardens really? someday. So today, his hey. his second dream, second grade dream came yeah. true today. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Huh. So what's he got to do there? He is actually going to tend to the flower beds and gardening. And okay. Stuff, trimming hedges. And cool. Cool. Yeah. That'll be, that'll be He's fun. He's pretty pumped. Yeah, definitely. He's got his own vehicle. And, oh, yeah? yeah. Nice. So he drove himself to the interview today. Nice. Yeah. So is it going to be in the summer, all summer then? So f it's going to see. He starts next weekend. He'll okay. start. He'll do weekends, and then yep. um, in the summer he'll 
work whenever they okay. need him. He tried to convince me today that it was uh, five days a week, eight, eight hours a day. And oh. I said, you can't do that. That would be full time. He goes, yeah, but I'm 16. I said, yeah, but then they'd have to pay you benefits. And <laughs> nobody's giving benefits. I don't think so. Probably not. He's like, well, they said. I was like, well, no, I think that your dad said you were available. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Five days a week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy. Huh. And so he's pumped because he'll get to be out about in the general public. And he goes, and the maintenance yeah. people are always people that, you know, tourists are asking question to, questions to. Yeah. So That's I'll true. get to answer some questions. That is true. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So he's super excited. To yeah. Come. That is good. That's Tell good. everybody his fun facts about snakes and whatnot. <laughs> Yeah, I'll stay away from that. <laughs> not, not a big fan. Oh yeah, they're yeah all about the reptiles. Yeah, <laughs> they got a Lee got a pet snake oh, last year. I think it was. Oh, um, actually, I think it was in November. So last year, but yeah. you know, hasn't had, mm-hmm. hasn't had it for quite a year. <laughs> His name's Cheddar, and he's uh, like yellow and orange and white. Really? Uh, ball python. Interesting. He'll get to be about. I think they said four to six feet long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's about everybody's reaction. Yeah, pretty but much. They love that thing. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. No different than Leah loving her worms. That's true. Back in the day. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Yeah. This is like the longest uh, yeah, conversation ever. I'm not sure what's going on. Hey, you. We were just talking about you. <laughs> Because we got nothing, we're tired. We're try- We're not as good as Jeff. Yeah, we got to. I know. I saw that. She's just coming over to tell us about the speaker falling, coming off the stand, and hitting people. So, but yeah, I don't know. We might have to call in a call in a phone a friend and get Jeff here to fill some dead time. I think. I know. Well, there's only so many commercials we can play. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I think he's listening? What do you I think? don't know. I think he'd be giving us some I think he would us. be, too. Yeah. I think we should make a call and make him come down here. I know. He's got to have something to say. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on here. We got both Husky coaches and both umpires in there. Don't we lose yardage for this? This is a delay a game. Yardage. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong sport there. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, don't, don't tell me you can get a field goal in uh, softball, too. Yeah. They sure. try to tell me that I've got all the wrong terminology, oh, and boy. then I find out you can do field goals in basketball. That's right. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, funny. Yeah, I don't... I'm trying to see what's going on. It looks like the ump has the... good at filling time as Hefe, so. <laughs> Hefe. <yeah. laughs> Alright, we'll be back <laughs> in 30 seconds. An enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck yes, that'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail? Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously, yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials in South Dakota, because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. And we are back, Husky fans. We still have a conversation happening between, now we've got more people in there. We've got both coaches and umpires, and we've got players. No, that's the other coach. Never mind. I don't know. Hmm. I, I was 
so looking forward today to not uh, talking on the air. I was going to... Yeah. Um, my favorite thing about ball season is uh, the sunflower seeds. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then I forgot them. Yeah. Hey, I got some if you want some. Oh, no, now I'm not, I'm not going to be, be chewing in people's ears. I'm going to talk. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, that's the hardest part. I always... I always have seeds in the dead softball games, and probably can't do that when you're talking. No. Yeah, I don't know. This is a crazy long break. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't know. So you're supposed to look up and say, I don't know what was wrong. What they do on TV, like for different <laughs> games, they come and tell the people that are on TV. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think they'll probably do that. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't think we're that high up. No, and I don't <laughs> think that, uh, um, that people didn't even know we were coming today. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think we get to figure it out on our own, just yeah, like everybody else. Just like everybody else. <laughs> and we don't have a, well, we have a speaker system, but not an yeah. announcer. Might be on the ground, I don't know. I did see it tumble after falling. I don't know. It might not work anymore. Huh. Well, we got more people tuning in today than we did oh, yesterday. Yeah? yeah. Oh boy. I better check my phone. Any complaints yet? I was checking to see if Jeff had texted. He did not. Huh. So you got kids. Or is Olivia doing ball too? No. So he might not. I don't know if he's watching or not. Hmm. Huh. You said, uh, was Christian coaching today? Uh, no, not volleyball. No, no. I meant, I thought, doesn't she help out with the little kids softball and stuff yep. like that? Yeah, with Logan's team. She coached yeah. her team. They haven't started softball yet. Oh, she, they she had volleyball. Much. Oh, okay. She had practice last night and then games today. So. Huh? Oh, I think we broke the huddle finally. Hey! I have, we have no idea. Can have a rest? No. Yes! Yeah. Alright, well... Like she said, we broke the huddle, um, <laughs> and we probably still won't have any idea what the whole thing was about. But that had been, what, 10 minutes? I think so. At Felt least. Like it. Yeah. And. Two, three commercial breaks yeah. and uh, uh, a lot of bantering. Yeah. And now we got to warm up again because it was a long break, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is, but looks like the Huskies are ready to go. I'm just putting his mask on. He's ready to go. All right, I guess we're ready to go. So whatever that was is whatever it was. So are we still in the third inning then? Yep, we're in the bottom of the third inning. Oh. So at the plate is number 14, Samantha Marks. She first pitch, foul it off, so it's 0-1 to count. Change ups a little high, so we're one and one. Two one, a little high again. And there's a strike, evens out the count at two and two. Swing straight threes, drop. She gets to throw the first for the out. So one down. All right. So one down brings number three, Reagan Rasmussen, to the plate. And first pitch is a strike.
second pitch is in the dirt, 1-1. One, one. And grounder between second or third and short. She and she's safe. Nice try there by the shortstop. Rasmussen beats it out. So we got Rasmussen at, Rasmussen at first with a one down. And number one, Natalie Haley at the plate. First pitch is a ball. Nice scoop there by the catcher. 1 0 the count. Another ball in the dirt. It's knocked down. Reagan's going to stand up into second base there, the stolen base. So, runner at second with one down for Haley. 2 0 is the count. Swing, down to the third base. And Haley beats out the throw. Nice, nice hustle by Haley. So runners at first and second with one now. Nice hustle by Haley to beat the throw. Up to the plate is number 23, Ainsley Getching here. First pitch is a strike. Just wide of the third baseline, even up or makes the count 0 and 2. <clears throat> Pitch is low, 1 and 2 is the count. Gets grounder to the shortstop, but she's going to get the out at first. She'll advance the runners to second and third with two away. And looks like it'll be back to the top of the order with number six, Hannah Nerman. So two outs, runners at second and third with Nerman at the plate. First pitch is high, 1 0. Second pitch is high, 2 0. Slow roller to third, and she's going to get thrown out by about a step. That'll end the inning. Huskies go down with no runs. So it's eight to four still. She falls Christian after three. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky softball. Game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in South Dakota. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the SDHSAA. And we are back. We'll uh, take uh, probably one more. Yeah. Good. Quality care, close to home. That's Horizon Healthcare and Elk Point. For immunizations and well-child visits to family health, 
we're right here for all ages with convenient hours and timely appointments. Local care for you and your family makes life easier with less travel, greater personal attention, and overall wellness for life. That's Horizon Healthcare's Elk Point Community Health Center. And we are back. All righty, we are back. So top of the fourth inning. Coming to bat for the Chargers is number nine, Taylor Dittman. First pitch by McDermott is a ball, 1-0. and Oh, second pitch is hit right center. Oh, what a catch by Schmitz. What a catch by Schmitz in the hole between right and center field. Leaps up at the last second and puts it away. Nice catch. One now. Wow. That was Sarah Schmitz, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she plays for this blue team. <laughs> oh, she's all blue. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, oh, nice day. Nice. Yeah. Nice job. Morgan Grimm, the line out to Molly Gary at third. Nice Might quick be. hands. Nice Because he's got to make up for that long inning. <laughs> the long break of discussion of whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, first pitch a little high. Ball one. This is Megan Aukis, maybe. Grounder to the shortstop, or the pitcher McDermott, throws it over to first, gets the out. One, two, three inning for the Huskies. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky Softball on Florida Digital Solutions. Elk Point native Dr. Devin Penfield and the team at the dentist at Elk Point believe that your family deserves the highest level of dental care in a friendly and relaxing atmosphere. That's why they're happy to provide the community with a low-stress, comfortable dental home. Patients are loving and having the latest technology in a small town setting. Dr. Penfield and her team enjoy serving such a wonderful community. Schedule your appointment today by calling 605-356-2271. Getting tired of the wind. We are back. All right. Oh, uh, we got the chili cup tonight. Chili cup, that's right. Yeah, I don't know what time it starts, but I know I'm meeting my... Um, uh, Mrs. Woolforth asked me oh. if I would accompany her oh. to the Chili Cup. So, oh, boy. Um, nice. So we're going to go about 4.30-ish. But uh, they got, I think, on their Facebook page, you got the silent auction stuff. Okay. And uh, that'll be out cool. at the point, um, raising money for scholarships for our okay. EPJ seniors that okay. are graduating, I believe, for this year. Okay, that's what I was going to ask you, yeah. what the money goes for. But, yep, that's right. I remember now that you say that. Yeah, I don't remember how the scholarship funds work because I know we do, um, for EPJ, we do, like, the Education Association does a scholarship for oh, okay. the valedictorian and the salutatorian. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. So I'm, I know that the Chili Cap fundraises for scholarships. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. That's second attempt at a punt there by McKinley Hammett, so it's 0-2. That, yeah, that's a good time, I've heard. I've never been to it. We did get some on the online auction. Yeah. Did buy a photo a few years back. Pretty nice. Grounder between third and short. Shortstop gets it. And it's she's safe. Beats her by about a step. Nice, nice hustle by Hammett. So she'll be on with an infield hit. Yeah, you can check out the Chili Cup fundraiser uh, Facebook page for all the okay. silent, like online silent auction okay. bids and whatnot. Cool. Um, and then they'll have a few things going on there at the point for okay. as far as um, some more fundraising opportunities and whatnot. Okay. And you can come vote on your favorite chili. Okay. Cool. Um, anybody can enter, and I think you just have to show up with your chili really? today and just nice. let them know the name of it. Interesting. So we got a one-on-one one count to Sarah Schmitz. Had a pass ball on that first pitch, so hey, I'm going to move up to second. Nobody out yet here in the bottom of the fourth. Foul ball straight back. Be 
one and two, the count to Schmidt. And foul back again. We'll stay at one and two. This is a dangerous spectator sport. No. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, now they almost need the top of the fence or the cage comes down. Mm -hmm. These aren't real high fences like that. It's kind of dangerous. But what do we know? We're, we're getting taken out by the weird <laughs> stuff from the wind. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Counts two and two. <laughs> oh, high three, two. So three and two to Sarah Schmitz. <laughs> So this is the first year that this has been sanctioned in South Dakota. Second, Correct. Second year? Yep. They did it last year as well. Okay, so. I thought that they did. I just assumed yep. it wasn't sanctioned because we didn't film it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you hope. Nope, they did it last year, and gotcha. Huskies made it to state and placed, was it fifth? Fifth or sixth? I can't remember now. Mm -hmm. Yep. State tournament's held in Aberdeen. Yep. I believe they played the Sodak 16 last year. Was that in Wagner, I think? I think, I think that's where it was. I'm not sure. Ball for Schmidt. She'll take her base. First and second. Nobody out. With Jacob to bat. I think that's what it was in Wagner last year. They played the Sodak 16 anyway. Strike to Jacobs, 0-1. Foul back, 0-2, the count to Jacobs. Runners are going to advance to second and third. Nice job. Get there under the tag. Nice job by Hammett. So second, third, nobody out. One, two, the count to Jacobs. Nice stop there by the catcher. Ball's in the dirt. Two, two, the count. Low pitch, stop there again by the catcher. 3-2 the count now, nobody out. Oh. Yep, strike three. Strike three looking there by Jacobs for the first out of the inning. It'll bring up number five, Molly Gary. Second and third, runners at second and third yet. Ball in the dirt, nice stop there again by the catcher. Whistling in the ears from the wind. <laughs> Gonna have a ball two, two and all. They hit the center field. It's gonna drop now. Drops in front of the center fielder. Ooh, throw comes home, and Schmitz is going to score. Yep, drive, drove in both runs there by Gary. She's going to move up to second base on the hit, on the throw to home. Score now 8-6, to six. he falls Christian, one out yet. Nice two-run single there by Gary. Moves up to second on the throw home. So 
going to bring up number 14, Samantha Marks. A little outside, a 1 and 0 the count to Marks. Swing, it's gonna go yeah, foul, just man. barely foul, I think. Yeah, wind really held that up. <laughs> <laughs> man, right down the right field line, just behind back behind first base, and it's gonna be a foul ball. So, one and one the count. I know it's get a little buggy out, but uh, this yeah. wind is, I will say, helping that. Yeah, yeah, one positive with the wind, anyway. Mm -hmm. Pitch in the dirt. It's going to be 2 and 1. And strike 2. 2 2. 2 and 2 to Marks with 1 out. Runner at second. Gets it, just a little spinner right in front, right in front of home plate. Gets thrown out of first. Advances the runner over to third base. So two outs. Runner on third. We have number three, Reagan Rasmussen, up to bat. First pitch, strike to Rasmussen. On one. Like one and one, the count. Hi, ball two, two and one to Rasmussen. Strike two, evens the count at two. Two, two, two and two with two outs. Runner at third for the Huskies. Oh, uh, that thing to fly away. Yeah, <laughs> every time we get a gust to we're both kind of reaching towards the tripod. Oh, ball gets past the catcher, and Gary's going to slide in safe at home. Eight to seven, the score now. So Rasmussen. At the plate with the full count, now a two outs. <clears throat> Almost got a dust off the plate after she slid in. Ball for to Rasmussen. She'll draw the walk. It's going to bring up number one, Natalie Haley. I ground her to the pitcher. And she Ooh, and it didn't even shut off the hey. stream. Hey, you didn't even get hit in the face on no. that one. <laughs> the laptop just went flying again. Closed didn't up get, on us. Yeah, so closed up. <laughs> Wow, and we stayed on the air. Nice job. Nice save. So we had to run off the pitcher to end the inning. So after four complete, scores eight to seven. Two falls, Christian. You're watching Husky Softball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Are you ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. 
check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. We are back. All right, we are back. So once again, it's 8 to 7 after four innings. Let's see Falls Christian on top. bat to start the inning for the Chargers, I believe is yep, number four, Emerson Spader. And she's fouled her off for the first strike, 0-1-1 on the count. Nice pitch. Ball, ball one, one and one. It's going to be a ball high, two and one. Slapped on the third baseline, foul to Gary. So it's going to be 2 and 2. Ooh, nice pitch. A little low. Look out to Spader. Pitch foul back. Still gonna stay full count. Ball's in the dirt. Nice top by Nerman. It's gonna be ball four. Spader will reach first on a walk. Nobody down. Nobody out. He'll bring up. Number 23, Camden Mulder. Nice stop by Nearman there, keep it in front of her. Ball one, one and oh. Nice pitch, oh, foul down the first baseline. Even count it one and one. Top fly coming towards us. Foul ball just right off the left field line. So I'll stay at one and two. Thought Carolina was going to make a diving catch here. It's coming. The wind kept blowing it towards us. Yeah, they're like, ah, oh, I will slap that out of there. <laughs> it's like you slapped the laptop out of it <laughs> last, last inning. <laughs> oh, two, two and two the count. <laughs> See if I can wear a boot to brace there and an eye patch all in one year. There, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, got her swing on the low one in the dirt. And that's an out. Yep, that's third strike. Nice job. One down for the Huskies. It's going to bring up number 10, Maya Nelson. The pitch is low. Ball one. Throw it on to first. Gets back safe. One and over the count with one out. Oh, 
ground her back to the pitcher. Oh, she's gonna try and get her a second. Just a little late. Today wind. <laughs> That's right. We won this one. <laughs> <laughs> what does that fool me once? Shame on That's me. Right. Fool me twice. Shame right. on you. That's right. Fool me three times. Ain't gonna be a third time. That's right. One and all the count. <laughs> oh boy. Batter is number nineteen. Delia Duke Blanchard. Strike there. One even up the count one and one. Runners on first and second with one out. Oh nice line drive to right field. Oh off the glove of Is that Haley? Yep, Haley. Throw in the home is not in time. It's gonna score one run. Nine to seven. That was a solid hit out to right field. Yeah, it was. Those got to be hard to play out there in the outfield. Those hits with this wind, you just don't know what it's going to do. So still one out. Number twenty-one. Kate Preheim in the bat. First pitch of the ball. Pitch, swing, strike, one and one. Swing, strike there again, one and two. For number 21, Kate Priya. Nice. That was a nice hit. Wow. 12 to 7. She falls Christian with a one down in the top of the fifth. Pitch is low, ball one. Popped up, might be out of play. Nearman chasing, oh, just in front of the fence. So foul ball, even count, one and one. Must be just outside. Ball two, two and one. Nice pitch. Fouled straight back. Two and two. Two and two the count with a one out. up might be out of play and it is out behind the Sioux Falls Christian dugout stays two and two nice pitch grounder to short to ham it nice throw over to first and gets here to get the out two down Play there. It's gonna 
bring up number nine. Taylor Dittman. Line drive between first and second. Oh, Haley almost gets yeah, Haley almost got her out there at first. Nice effort there. So two outs running around first is gonna bring up number eight. Morgan Grimm. First pitch is low, ball one. Pretty close, a little bit low, maybe two and oh. Nice line drive up the middle. Oh, she gets her out. Nice play. Nice hustle play there by Schmitz to get into second for the force out to end the inning. So after four and a half, it is 12-7 in favor of Sioux Falls Christian. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky Softball on Florida Digital Solutions. Every day, life throws its challenges our way. It might be sitting at a desk too long or picking up the kids or simply everyday wear and tear. Over time, these moments can misalign our bodies. The doctors at Heartland Chiropractic Associates understand this delicate balance. Their team of experienced chiropractors doesn't just address symptoms, but seeks and finds the root cause. Call and book an appointment today and discover why Heartland Chiropractic Associates has been voted two times the best chiropractic clinic in Siouxland. And we are back. All right, we're back to start the bottom of the fifth. Leading off for the Huskies to start the fifth is number 23, Ainsley Get Getchinger. ball or two for the umpire it looked like maybe ah. just wondering what was going on I know. Like I, know. I know. I know. Ball four. Ball four, yep. So gets here and draws the walk. It's going to bring up Nearman. Two. 
Man, don't look up at the light poles. <laughs> just looked Why? up. Why? Is it bright? Up. No, the light poles. I just looked oh. up and they're just shaking back and forth. <laughs> uh, you got to strike one there, two one to count now. <laughs> bit high two and two or three and one I mean excuse me three and one nobody out runner on first floor near me strike there three and two full count Nearman fouls it straight back Stay at three and two. And it's going to be ball four high, so Nairn will take the walk. Runners at first and second, nobody out. And that will bring up McKinley Hammett to the plate. And I believe we're going to have a substitution. Coach Stouffer is talking to the umpire. Uh, I believe we're having a substitution here anyway. Pinch runner maybe. Yeah. They yep. subbed out Getzinger yesterday, uh -huh. too. Oh, did they? Okay. Yep. So Laney Trometer is going to come in and run for Getzinger? Okay. Huh. Okay. All right. So Hammond will be at the plate with first and second. Nobody out. Puts the bat down for a bunt and pulls it back. It's going to be ball one. Pulls it back again. Ball two. Puts the bat down to bunt. Pitch was in the dirt, but she didn't pull it back, so it's strike one, two and one the count. Gets a bunt down, nice bunt, nice bunt. Beautiful. Just dotted right about five feet in front of home plate, and everybody's gonna be safe. Tried to get her at first, couldn't get her. Nice play, so we have bases loaded, nobody out now. It's going to bring up number 15, Sarah Schmitz. See if Sarah can do some damage at the plate here with nobody out. Make up for that home run we had last inning. Maybe she can pull one over the fence. I've seen her do it a few times. Ooh, pretty close pitch there. Looks like he's going to call it a ball. So be one and all. And oof, oof. ground her right down the third base line, just barely foul. That could have cleared the bases. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Could have, she could have possibly scored on it, too, with her speed. So, one and one, the count with nobody out yet. Base is loaded. Nice stop there by the catcher, keeps it in front of her. Two and one the count. She hits a fly ball to center field. She's gonna come, gets under it. Oh, oh comes out nice. of it, drops out of her glove. Oh, we're gonna have her out at second base, yep. 
she had to hold up to see if she caught or not, and she mm-hmm. got there just in time to get the out. So nothing can do about that. She had to wait, wait and see if she caught it. So got her out by a step there. So we got one out, and runners at the corners now. We're at one run scored. So it's twelve. Should be twelve eight, correct? That's what I thought. That's what you have? Yeah, yeah. It's not, they haven't changed. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because I was going to say, I was like, yeah. bases were loaded. Yep. So grand. Yeah. So. Yep, so 12 8, one down. So now we got runners at the corners with one out. And that'll bring up number two, Paige Jacobs. That's going to be a strike one. And Schmitz goes down to second with no throw. So second and third with one out. 0-1 the count to Jacobs. And she's going to have strike two, 0-2 the count. Ball in the dirt, nice stop by the catcher. Keep it in front of her, one and two. Nice line drive up the middle by Jacobs. Get back, got past the center fielder. Jacobs is going to go. She's around in second, going to third. Get the ball in the shortstop. Stand up triple there for Jacobs. And that's going to cut the lead down to 12 to 10 with one out yet. So nice hit there by Jacobs right up the middle. Nice hard line drive. It's going to bring up number five, Molly Gary, to the plate with one down. First pitch is a ball, 1-0 and the count. I've had to stop this live stream three times. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, second pitch is a ball as well, 2-0. Pitch grounder between second or third and short. Shortstop gets it, throws her out at first, but she drives in the run, cuts the lead to 12 to 10 with two outs okay. or 12 to 11. 11. Excuse yep, me, yep, yep. my bad. Way to be on top of that. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 12 11 with two outs, and we have up Samantha Marks, number 14, with two down. Bases are empty now. First pitch was a strike. Yep. So 0 1 count. Popped up. It's going to be. Oh, I was barely out of play. So 0 2. 1 2 the count. With 2 down. Grounders, too short. She makes the throw. It's just barely wide. She's going to go to second. So Sam gets in there to second base on the throwing here. So it's 12 11 with two down. So Marks at second base. That'll bring up number three, Reagan Rasmussen, to the plate. First pitch is high over the catcher's head. Marks will go to third. <clears throat> so runner at third, two down. Oh 
Pitch is in there for a strike. One and one. The wind keeps blowing the dust around. Keep their eyes out of the dust, but I don't think there's any hiding it. No. <laughs> oh, swing and a miss. One and two. And swing and a miss, strike three, two, and the inning. So after five innings, Sioux Falls Chris is still on top, 12 to 11 now. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky Softball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Insurance in Petersburg, Elk Point, and Sioux Falls has been building relationships since 1944. We want to take care of what matters most to you, protecting your family, farm, business, or vehicles. We work with carriers or companies like Auto Owners Insurance to find you the best coverages and help cut your insurance costs. Visit our website for a complete list of insurance coverage options. You can trust that Jensen Insurance cares about you, just like we have for over 75 years. Visit us at JensenAgencyOnline.com. Jensen Insurance, your local, independent auto owner's insurance agency. I think two seems about right. Pretty close anyway, between innings. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I got PTSD you're, from this. Yeah, it's traumatic. It is. You're gonna have good reaction time to everything now after this. <laughs> get, feel the gust of wind. As soon as you feel that gust of wind, you get your arms up in front of your face. <laughs> Wait, don't want any more broken off teeth from the laptop? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> All right. First pitch by McDermott of the sixth is in there for a ball one to number five, Megan Aukus. Second pitch is in ball two. There you go, nice pitch. One and two now, or two and one, I mean. Two and one the count. This stuff has a nice long delay between when he actually says a strike and makes the motion. So, <laughs> And you can never hear him, so it's, no. like, so it's like, is that a strike or not? So that was a strike, two and two. And swing, strike three to get the out. First out of the inning. Nice job by McDermott on the strikeout. One down, top of six. Top of the order, I believe now, number four, Emerson Spader at the bat for the Chargers. First pitch out was a ball. Oh, it's a ball, okay. Yeah. This one down the third baseline, fielded by Gary. Stretch by Getzinger, gets her out, nice play. Two down, so two up, two down by the Huskies. It's going to bring up number 23, Cameron Mulder. First pitch was a ball. Is there a rule in this game with a, like, you know, the mercy rule in football yep. and all, like, what do they do for this? I think it's, is it 15 after three innings and 10 after five, I think. Is You have to be up by 15 after three or up by 10 after five, I'm pretty sure. Gotcha. I think that's what it is anyway in a seven-inning game. So it was a ball or a strike, so it's two to one. Pitch in there, grounder to second to Jacobs, tosses it over to Getzinger, gets her out. Quick three nice, out. yeah, nice three up, three down there for the Huskies. We're gonna take a break.
Jake, going to the bottom of the six. You're watching Husky Softball, Fuller Digital Solutions. An enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck yes, that'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail? Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously, yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials in South Dakota because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. Quality care, close to home. That's Horizon Healthcare and Elk Point. For immunizations and well child visits to family health, we're right here for all ages with convenient hours and timely appointments. Local care for you and your family makes life easier with less travel, greater personal attention, and overall wellness for life. That's Horizon Healthcare's Elk Point Community Health Center. And we're back. Alrighty, we're back. So top of our bottom of six, 12-11, Sioux Falls Christian on top yet. Coming to the plate for the Huskies, number one, Natalie Haley. First pitch is a strike. Sides. One and one the count to Haley. Little looper in the left field. Oh, nice snag by the shortstop. Way to reach out and grab that by number five, Megan Aukis. That was a heck of a catch. A wind blowing it just a little bit out, I believe, from there. Mm -hmm. Just reached up and grabbed it just barely. I'll bring up Ainsley Gensinger. One out for the Huskies. First pitch is a strike. Popped up. And it's fair ball. Yeah, fair ball. And landed, landed in bounds and she touched it. So it's going to stay be a fair ball. So Gatzinger reaches, well, umps are going to talk over. Sure looked like it was a fair ball. Looked like it landed in bounds, and then she touched it in fair territory. Oh, nope, now they're going to say foul ball. Okay. All right. Huh. I don't know. So that's two strikes, one ball? Two hey, one. I guess I'm not sure now. <laughs> I think she was one and one. Was it one and one? I think so. One and two. Yeah. already cleared it out. But already yeah, nice. I know. <laughs> I think it's one and two then, I think. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Foul straight back. So still one and two. Oh, nice line drive. Oh, right to the, right to the center fielder. Nice grab. Nice grab by the center fielder. So we got two down, two down, and the top of the order with Nerman up to the bat. First pitch to strike to Nerman. One, one. in the dirt, one and one the count.
fouled straight back, two and two. So two and two the count with two down. Line drive to left field by near, but it's going to get back to left fielder. All the way to the wall, center fielder gets it, throws it in. So Nearman will be at second. Two down with McKinley Hammett coming to the plate. Oh, wow. Hammett tries to bunt and pops it up right by the catcher there and going straight back and she almost comes down with it. Mm -hmm. So 0-1 there to the count. Pitch in the dirt, stopped by the catcher. She's going to throw it to third. She's going to get over her head. And here slides in. She gets up, to going home, and she slides into home to tie it up. 12 12. Nice base run right there by Nearman. So two out yet. I believe it counts one and one to Hammett. Ball high, two and one. Ooh, nice pitch, two and two, two and two with two outs. Two Hammett. Well, he says the ump said it was one and two. I thought it was two and two. Ball high, it's going to make it two and two now. Oh, ball's in the dirt, so swings at it. The catcher doesn't know where it's at, it's right by your feet. And Hammett's going to get there to get to first, and it's overthrow. Hammett's going to get to second. He's going to go all the way to third. Throws into the second base. He's going to stand up in that third base. So Hammett strikes out, swinging, but the catcher can't come up the ball, can find it. Over throws first, and Hammett gets all the way to third base. It's going to bring up Sarah Schmidt to, oh, we're going to have a timeout. Going to have a visit to the mound by Sioux Falls Christian's coach. Take a quick break or no? Hey, we better not, just in okay. case. I'm not I sure. I don't know how long these Yeah, I don't know how long it'll take for one, sure. They had, I think we did, I think there was three, two or three last night. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I was like, I didn't know that they did timeouts in baseball. Yeah. This. yeah. Yeah, you never know. Usually the umps kind of hurry them along. so. Mm -hmm. But they didn't say anything this time. It wasn't too long. so. Okay, so so Sarah Schmidt's coming to the plate with two down. Tie game in the bottom of the six at 12 with Hammond at third base. First pitch ball, catch her on to that one. She kind of framed it there for a second. Mm -hmm. One and all. Oh, Sch Schmitz gets one. He hits it over the left fielder's head. One bounce to the fence. Schmitz is wheeling around the bases. She's going to get down to third, and she's in there. Nice hit by Schmitz. Nice hustle all the way around to get in there at third base under, under the throw. And that gives the Huskies the lead, 13-12, driving in Hammett there for Schmidt. Going to bring Paige Jacob to the plate with two down. What happens if we tie things up in the seventh? Then you got to go extra innings. Extra innings? Yep. Do you play till somebody scores, or do you yep. play the whole inning? Yeah, you got to play the whole inning. Okay. So like the home team. That's a fair ball down the line. It's going to score Schmidt. Jacob's going to get into second base with the stand-up double. 14-12 Huskies so on that question if it's extra innings since we're the home team 
They get the bat first, obviously, at the top of the inning. But we still get the bat because we're the home team. So you got to play both. Bottom. Yeah, innings. both teams, both top and the bottom of the inning. Both gotcha. teams get the chance to hit and score. So. Okay. Yep. Good to know, good to know. Yep. And there's a strike to Malagari on one. So 14 12, Huskies with two down. Jacobs at second. Gary at the plate. Pitch in the dirt. Nice stop by the catcher. One and one. <clears throat> Pitch is in there for a strike. One and two to Gary with two down. Two and two. Well, again, catcher stops it, but Jacobs is going to move up to third on the pitch. So we got a full count. Full count to Gary. Two outs. on that one, ball four. So Gary will get a walk. Runners at the corners with two outs. And that'll bring up Samantha Marks to the plate. First pitch, a ball, I believe. And Gary goes down to second on the first pitch. So runners at second and third, two down. One over the count. That wind is getting cold now. Is it? Yeah, it is a little bit more than it was. Second pitch is a ball as well, 2-0. One's a strike, 2-1, two, 2-1 one. Two, one to Marks. Ball high, 3-1. and one. Swing and a miss. Three and two. So full count. Three and two. Two out. Oh, strike out looking there to end the inning. Huskies take the lead there at the, at the in the bottom of the sixth inning. Up 14 to 12. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky Softball on Florida Digital Solutions. Elk Point native Dr. Devin Penfield and the team at the dentist at Elk Point believe that your family deserves the highest level of dental care in a friendly and relaxing atmosphere. That's why they're happy to provide the community with a low stress, comfortable dental home. Patients are loving and having the latest technology in a small town setting. Dr. Penfield and her team enjoy serving such a wonderful community. Schedule your appointment today by calling 605-356-2271. That's what we're back, it. but that's what makes sense. Why that makes sense yesterday? yesterday yeah. I thought that I was like, wait a minute, how? Mm. I thought there was another part of this yep. inning, so yep. that makes sense now. Yep. All right, so 14 12, top of the seventh inning. Up for Sioux Falls Christian. Looks like mm -hmm. 
is it? Number 10, Maya Nelson. So McDermott to face Nelson here. First batter of the top of the seventh. Grounder right up the middle, first pitch. Schmitz gets it in a second. So runner first, nobody out. Up to bat, number 19. Delia Duke Blanchard. Nice pitch. Must have been a little outside. Ball one, 1-0. One Nice pitch there, 1-1. One, one. Fouls it straight back, 1-2. One 1-2 and two. One and two the count. But outside, two and two. Grounder to second. She's gonna tag her there. Gets and double play. Double nice, out. nice job by Jacobs. Tags her just as she's working. That's mine. That's mine. Is it what? That's mine. That's Riley's glasses prescription. <laughs> oh boy, I don't want to lose that. I'm going to hold the camera back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, I do nice. actually need this. Nice job, man. <laughs> Got things blowing away. I know, nice I was job, looking, bro. I was like, oh, somebody's trash. I was like, oh wait, that's my trash. <laughs> oh, funny. Uh, so nice play there by Jacobs to tag her out and throw the first to get the out. Excellent. Yeah, two down. Number 21, Kate Free. I'm at the plate with two down. 0 and 1 the count, or 1 and 1 the count. Nice pitch, swing and a miss. 1 and 2. Good work, Lauren. Yeah. Oh, we tried the change up, bounced it in there. Good effort, 2-2, two, two. two outs. High and outside, 3-2. And Lauren gets it. Yep. Nice job by McDermott to get the third out. Huskies come out on top, 14 to 12. We will. <laughs> nice job there by the Huskies. So the Huskies come out on top, 14 to 12. I believe they even out their record at two and two. I believe. She falls Christian falls to 0 and 1. Um, I think we're gonna wrap it up before the camera goes flying anymore or the laptop. But um, so a nice win there by the Huskies today over Sea Falls Christian. 14 to 12. And next game is Monday at Alcester, correct? Correct. And that is at Alcester Hudson, five o'clock, right? Correct. Five o'clock varsity game. We'll have that one on live. Uh, Thursday, I believe, is Gabriel at home. at home, and then and Friday, Friday is will at be in Beersford. Beersford. Okay, we should have all those games, we think. And then uh, the game that was rained out um, against Vermilion, yep. that has been rescheduled to Saturday at noon on uh, April 27th. April 27th, yep. okay. And then I know Kendall let me know that the game from... 
the game that was canceled in Del Rapids yeah. was rescheduled for May 13th. Yep, that one. Which will be away. Yep, at Del Rapids. So. Yep. All right. Well, we will see you folks uh, yep. Monday. Yep. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and bearing with us. Hopefully, you can hear us a little bit. Hopefully, the wind won't be as bad on Monday. So, you've been watching Husky softball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Have a, great Have a good one. Saturday. Yep. Have a